Welcome to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez and this is your channel message for February 3rd to the 9th. When I look to this side, I'm looking at my calendar. All right, let's look at the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. All right, I'm hearing new challenges and new growth. And they want you to know that there will be healing that comes through uh, this challenge. And uh, in this challenge, I'm not seeing it as much as, a, a, as an obstacle, as much as you being stretched. You're going to be stretched and do more than you thought you could do. Mm -hmm. I also see for some of you, I feel that you're not seeing things in front of you very clearly. It's as if, uh, and I always say this with love, because my, my glasses are pretty strong, but I'm seeing like Coke bottle glasses, but the kind that when you look at somebody that their, their vision, their eyes are distorted, like their eyes look like huge from it. And, um, so it's like, what I'm seeing is that you, you're, you're not seeing things clearly. Things are distorted. All right. And, um, I, and also what I'm hearing is that things are friendlier than the way that you are perceiving them to be. Uh, so they're saying uh, it's time to change things up, change the way you view the world. Um, in other words, too, they're saying that for some of you, you're going into things with a preconceived notion of how things are, how people are. And what I have found is that we have no idea. I mean, uh, the least among us is the most powerful and the most powerful is the least among us. All right. So. Um, just be awake to that. You never know when you're entertaining angels unaware. So try to see things in a more open, like, what do you want to show me today kind of way, rather than I already know how this is going to be because it's happened to me before and I see it like this and da, 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 da. In other words, because you will create your reality in that way. Um, I also see for a lot of you, I see you moving, moving, uh, right along. I see more pep in your step, more energy, more laughter, more joy, more getting out and around, uh, healthfully. <laughs> I'll put that out there. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like though those three days are going to go by very quickly too, is what they're saying. So we're looking to look at the sixth and the seventh, which is Saturday, Sunday. I hear joy. And um, it's funny because they want to say almond joy, which is a candy bar. But um, I like those two, though. <laughs> and so um, that that is a simplicity of joy, though, isn't it? It's like when you enjoy something that you liked when you were a kid and you're able to enjoy it again. And that's I think it's simplistic is what they're talking about. I also hear that a lot of things are irre irrelevant. Uh, I feel like you're going to be really going back to when you were a kid and little things made you happy and you didn't need uh, some big circumstance to change your life. Um, like the joy was just in the little fun things, running out on a Saturday to go play with your friends. Hmm. I also see for some of you, the curtain will be pulled back on some organizations. Uh, and I do want to say these are religious organizations, churches, uh, some assembly assemblies that you might be a part of. I feel like, um, you know, it's like, oh, now I see things a little more clearer. Something that you weren't seeing before or that was blocked from your view will, is going to be exposed or uh, you'll be able to see it much clearer. Um, I also feel, too, that for some places, because they're saying this is like the Iron Curtain, where the Iron Curtain is pulled back and there's freedom. So I see some freedom coming about as well. All right, we're going to look at the uh, 8th and the 9th. I see a lot of you working very hard, uh, but they're saying, um, I feel like some of you, your eyes are down and you're focused so much, that, that uh, and you're working so hard, that you're not stopping to just kind of look around and breathe and kind of relax. You don't have to rush because I feel like some of you are like, I got to get this done. Uh, I have to put a lot of energy into it to make it work. And the energy is already there. It just needs to come up and show itself to you. So you're just there to help bring that forward. So, you know, when you learn how to work with energy in that way, it's not as much work. There's less work and more observation and more acknowledging. But also, too, they just want you to relax and enjoy what you're doing. You know, a lot of us love a good project, but uh, 
you know, if you, if you rush through it and then it's like, okay, well, what's my next project? What do I need to do? Like you just are used to or addicted to working really hard. That is a choice. Working hard. We can work hard, but we don't have to make work hard. All right. So they're just telling you to lighten up, enjoy yourself, enjoy the journey. Um, I also hear something about uh, cousins. Uh, so if you have some cousins that you need to connect with, I'm hearing cousins affair. I don't know what that means, but I'm hearing the, the, the two things together. So perhaps you'll get some uh, enlightenment on something. But um, I, cousins is the first word that I heard. But then I did hear the two together. I also see something about um, there being a balance of power. Uh, that there has been a nice even balance, but I feel one person is going to remove themselves from a situation or a partnership. And um, you'll see that you're still able to maintain the equilibrium that you had when it was the two of you. All right. We're going to send some love to whatever that situation might be. Although I feel okay with it. I feel like it's kind of like business. There can be a certain point when a partnership dissolves where it's just a business um exchange at that point like uh, you know you want each other to be fine regardless and uh, you just need to take care of the business of it and uh, but I feel fine like each person will be fine with or without the other uh, but there you know there comes a time when you've grown just like in friendships that you've grown as much as you can grow and 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 I don't want to just uh, make that because partnerships can be friendship partnerships business partnerships but there comes a time where it's like um, you've grown as much as you can together and uh, as you separate it's like you grow and evolve much higher than you would have together you reach the high point to, uh, that you couldn't meet together at that point all right let's look at the whole Okay, this is really funny because I'm hearing August weather. August here is pretty warm. So I feel like we might have a, a warm, uh, summery type of a vibration then, you know. So for those of you back east, I'm, I'm hoping for that for you, you know. If it's in harmony with your location, we don't want snow melting too fast. Um, All right, for some of you, uh, that, that whole week, they're saying it's like you're coming out of your cocoon. Uh, it's like I see the co I see you in the cocoon. I see it coming undone around your neck, and it's like it's it's uh, you're you're so. In other words, I see your mind waking up, like oh, I'm coming out of this uh, season, this winter season, and uh, of 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 going within, and um, like this awakening. You're having this awakening and this new happening, new beginning, transformation transformation so it feels really good they said don't let anybody clip your wings um, <clears throat> that for many of you there will be a step to take as soon as uh, that that cocoon falls away which it will be that week it will be falling away and you will already be standing on the new step that's already there for you and uh, you will be seeing yourself renewed renewed it's almost like renewed and revisited you're revisiting yourself and going wow I'm you know this is good. I like this. I, I like this new part of me. I also see uh, equality highlighted that week. Uh, very strong. Um, this might be more our LGBTQT. I want to make sure I say all the letters right. Um, community. Uh, but I see equality highlighted. I don't know when the celebration is for that, but or if there there may just be like something that's going to be highlighted with equality. Um, I do see again uh, uh, with all men and all women. So okay, they're telling me that is more universal, not just uh, the L B uh, G Q T <laughs> um, uh, community. Um, yeah. I see a lot of you making great emotional strides. It's almost as if uh, somebody swimming the English Channel, you, you've, you've trained for it, you're ready for it, and you're strong and you can do it. So I see you really tackling some emotional things and moving through it very quickly. And there's, it's like you've really grown and there's a lot of strength there. Uh, I'm also being highlighted with, uh, I have a book, As Above, So Below. It's a great book, actually. And uh, so they're, they're just highlighting that uh, what you have put out is starting to manifest within below okay the uh, the um, 
the 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 micro of the macro you have touched into the macro that which is and it is being manifested through the micro you all right so your work has been done you did good work i do see some changes and moves for some of you could be just moving some things around it feels okay though good news is what i hear i'm gonna pull a card okay it says comfort i am without i'll let you see the card It says, I am without fear for divine presence comforts me. In trust, I surrender to this presence. I let go of all worries and all feelings of loneliness. Well-being surrounds me and I am comforted by the knowledge that I am never alone. Let me see it one more time. There you go. All right. Thank you all so very much. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. All right. Bye.